I photographed my eye and I have this whiteboard on top of it. I'm going to try and paint in the missing areas. I'll start putting in the color of the iris. This edge is probably a little too distinct, but I can soften that later. Some areas need to go darker, so I'll add ultramarine blue and red to it. This isn't quite solid black. There's some color in there. I think I'll mix up some of this skin color. So I mix a light orange. So this is ultramarine blue. You don't think of skin having blue in it, but you need that blue in there to make it duller. You can see the difference. This is kind of cartoony. This is more natural looking. Where the eyelid meets the eye, there is like this very soft line. It's kind of like a purplish color. It's hard to describe. I'm just trying to put that in. It's not too bad. And then the edge here has to get softer too. This section of the iris is more of a reddish brown. And there's all these little subtle variations, like some sort of texture. I need a little bit of paint in here in order to blend these edges. So this is almost pure white. There's some color in there. I think pure white might look a little too stark. I can always change it later. I'll go ahead and paint in the other highlights while I have the white paint on my brush. So I'll go ahead and soften the edge of this iris like I mentioned previously. There's some blood vessels that I should probably put in here now. They're very subtle lines and colors. I have to figure out how to render the details of the skin. I think I should put the shadow lines in first and then I could add the highlights on top of that. The eyelashes have to wait until I get the skin finished. I'm going to work on putting some of the subtle details into the eye. There's like variations in color. There's a little bit more texture in here than what I have so far. So here's the color of the white of my eye. If you look at that, look how dark that is compared to the white of the board. So I'll just go ahead and fill in the rest of the details in the iris. This part is the reflection of the eyelashes. It's kind of tricky to paint because there's all these fine little lines. I have to make this pupil a little bit more round and widen it slightly. This is the last part of the white of the eye and I'll soften the edge where it meets the iris. What's left is the rest of the skin of the eyelid and then I'll probably go in and detail the rest of the eye. I spent a little bit of time adding more details into the iris. I go back and forth between softening it and adding more detail in there until I feel like it's right. It's the white highlights here that make the eye look like it's wet. I'm just putting in the eyelashes. I had to do the texture of the skin first and then I put the eyelashes over the top of that. Here's the finished painting. 